when booking reefer loads or reefer carriers on your reefer loads, there are certain things you need to consider as a freight broker or if you are just looking to solidify a broker or a carrier as a shipper. <clears throat> so you have to consider a few things when you're booking these carriers. One of the first things or step by step that you should do, you should definitely take a look at, did you properly vet this carrier? Did you vet them in terms of their safety, in terms of their insurance, looking in depth at their insurance uh, to see if they have the proper coverage for refrigerated shipments? And looking at it in depth will help resolve any kind of liability issues that you might put yourself into if you didn't do so. Another thing you should do is consider, does the driver have the correct trailer? Okay, is it a food grade trailer? You know, is it a reefer? Does it have air ride capabilities? Certain things are going to be evident as to what you need for the type of shipment you're doing in the reefer landscape. Also asking questions like, does the driver have the right uh, equipment in addition to the actual uh, type of equipment itself? Okay, so does, does he or she have load bars? Do they have straps and chains depending on, again, logistics type of equipment, asses, accessories that they may need for proper securement of the freight, okay? Also, is the trailer running properly and up to code, okay? Are the cooling systems maintained, okay? Does the cargo need to run at a continuous temperature? If this is the case, you have to make sure that the refrigeration unit is set for continuous rather than cyclical, okay? Also, has the driver hauled this type of commodity before? Know the requirements of what you're hauling. For example, if you're a plant shipper or have a plant load for a trucking company, make sure the trucking company knows what that entails. If they are moving ice cream or you are moving ice cream, make sure you have somebody with experience to do this and not somebody based on trial and error to get this done for your customer or to send it out to your end customer, okay? Another thing you should consider is, did the driver confirm pickup and delivery appointments in conjunction with the route itself. So that way there are no uh, um, gaps in, in terms of service there as well, okay? Knowing this information is very important. I know it sounds simple, but these are things you have to consider and check for yourself. Write these down for yourself as somebody that provides logistics services. Also, is the trailer at the required temperature before loading? This is important, okay? So making sure that you share this information with the trucking company you're selecting to do your reefer load for you and also making sure you have the data to back it up as well in case issues arrive for quality assurance purposes as well. So these are checklist quick things that you can do to mitigate disaster, mitigate issues and liability issues and insurance claim issues as a reefer carrier and also as a reefer broker uh, to make sure that everybody's on the same page when you're moving these uh, temperature sensitive shipments uh, from point A to point B. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, a like, a share, a comment. If you want to add some more of your best practices in the comments below, please do so and share it with the community. All right. Thank you very much.